connected speech is also an important element of phonology and it's involved in joining words together in an effect to make our speech more efficient. One, some might say it's a product of being lazy, but nonetheless, it's what we all do and we want all of our non-native speakers to speak as naturally as possible, so we have to be aware of these things. Here are a few of the more common examples. We have linking, dropping, changing, and extra lettering. An example of each would be with linking, we link our words together so that they almost in effect become one word. Instead of saying, what do you want to do, we typically will say, what do you want to do? Then we can also have dropping. Rather than pronouncing each and every consonant, we can sometimes, especially in certain accents, drop some of the letters. So in this word, it should be butter, and this should be computer, but here it becomes butter and computer. Then we can change our sounds as well. Again, I've used the same examples, but what we're doing is we're changing the T sound to a D sound because our, it's more efficient for our vocal organs to move in that pattern. So rather than butter, it's butter. And rather than computer, it's computer. Then finally, we have our extra lettering. This typically comes as we want to connect two vowel sounds with a bit of a consonant sound. So instead of saying, my eyes are green, we sneak in just a hint of a Y sound, so it becomes, my eyes, or my eyes are green. Then we can also have, instead of drawing, it can become drawing, just as washing can sometimes become washing.